It's such a nice day out today. Frank's out bebopping around. Hi, Bubba. It's a sunny but pretty cold, cold wind. So Frank's really good about staying in the yard with me. So he comes out and he doesn't really chase the loose bird. So he's a good boy. You coming down, Frankfurt? Come on, Fakie. Come on, Bubba. So we got all that lumber a few weeks ago, so it's been nice out. So we actually put together a couple of raised beds. And so these are eight by eight. And we use um, landscape um, posts. They're pressure treated. They're about, they last forever. That's why we kind of like them. I know everybody does it different. But this is um, compost from our birds that I've dropped in there. Uh, and then, so it's going to, I still got to put uh, soil on top. But as you can see, we have all grass now, thank goodness. It was a lot of snow. We have been getting snow off and on. Frank's checking things out. <laughs> he loves to come out. We do have people that walk up and down this road, so I always am out here with him because he can be intimidating if you just saw this big guy coming out, yeah. Even though he's not, he's just, he's not mean. But people don't really realize that. They just see a hundred and what? I think he's like a hundred and sixty something pounds. Yeah, his son Farley weighs a little bit more, but Frank's. Eat some grass, enjoying the sun. But so we're hoping by adding these two, I have enough room for all my little seed starters that I have started. I have tons of peppers and tomatoes, and you can just hear the wind blowing around. It's massive. So, you ready to go in? All right, let's go in. You saying hi to your kitty? Yeah. He's not done checking things out. So, he's checking out the water. Everybody got their new collars for tick season. We've had a lot of ticks here. We've gotten a lot of ticks off ourselves. So, um, we got everybody that does collars, their collar. Like Frank has a collar and it actually works really good. Um, this Soresto collars, they're for eight months. And then we have some that do the Brevecto pill because they're young and they chew the collars off and the collars are quite expensive for them to just chew them off. So <laughs> every time I'm out here, I pretty much, oh, I might as well get a drink. <laughs> So every time I'm out here, I end up with a tick on me. So I want to make sure these guys are covered. That's rainwater he's drinking. He goes, he's going to start running. He's, uh, takes a lot of energy, doesn't it, buddy? All the flowers or bushes are in bloom. It's very pretty here. Magnolias are only out for a couple of weeks. And now they're going by. Percentilas are in bloom. So this is the flock. So Queenie's this white one, she's new and so isn't um, Jasper, she's the chocolate turkey behind that I just got. But I think Jasper actually has been laying eggs too because I've been getting two different um, speckled eggs and those are turkey eggs so I think we might have little Jaspers. But they're super friendly. Hey Queenie! Hi girl! And that's Fred, our big tom, uh, big turkey, tom turkey. We had two, but we had problems, so we had to get rid of one. And I think they're molting almost, because he, he looks awful. He is normally pretty uh, when he, when he uh, drums, and he's drumming right now for his girl. So we've been getting tons of chicken eggs and turkey eggs from this flock. Um, we started clearing out. We're in the plans of expanding for these guys so they have a huge area. Right now, um, it's 
it's not as nice for them. And I put down hay because we've had nothing but rain or snow. And I do have electric fence and I'm gonna put out and try to open it up so they can come out. Uh, we have a few roosters that hang around out here. We had actually quite a bit of roosters. And we have a fox that has been coming and eating our roosters. So we have a fox trap out here, a live trap. Um, the back here, my husband's gonna move it up closer. We want to catch it uh, so it stops eating our our birds because I mean I love having the roosters free range they you know so they can pick the ticks off the grass and stuff let's see if anybody laid any eggs nope not yet I did a deep cleaning already from from the winter because I did kind of like the layered method over the winter not sure if I really like that. It did take me two and a half hours to clean out this coop, but I mean, that is all winter juice. So I'm not sure. So we have our ducks way back there, hanging out at their pool. And then the chickens, and we do have that, a, three roosters in here too that I plan on keeping. Colonel Clock, this big, uh, Dominic's rooster and uh, Egger rooster right there. And look at they come running. They think I got something for them. It's so cute. So all the birds that I've been hatching and stuff, I've keeping out here. Now I've had them in there. Now I get to clean out their coop because they're dirty. So our geese that I was talking about came in. You can hear them. Um, so here's a look at all the little birds. <laughs> look at this little guy popping right out. Hi, how are you? Another one over there. Um, this door is closed, but I've been hatching out turkeys and chickens. And I did order geese because we don't have any geese here. So they're right here. Um, so now I get to clean out their coop because they get messy. So I got most of it out. Some of the birds went out, some of them are there, and then I have to put clean stuff in and water and food. And we're all done. Look at this little goose. Isn't he cute? I think that's the boy. Yeah, that's the boy. The two girls are a little bit smaller. So I got plastic down just so it doesn't uh, ruin my barn floors here. But um, these little chicks right here were born in my hatchery. I mean, our incubator, our hatchery. That little guy back there, he's a, one of our black turkeys. He was born here. There should be three of them around. There's another couple of turkeys over there, a white one and a black one. And then that chicken on the top, she was born here. So they don't seem too scared, which is good. Look at this little guy, he's going down. He thinks he's got something good there. Isn't he cute? If they handle a geese a lot and they'll be friendly, so that's what I'm going to try to do. These are the white Chinese um, geese. So let's get it back together. I got all the bedding back in. Hi, mister. They seem to be very inquisitive about it. Now I got to round up all the ones on the outside to get them in and put back the other ones. But. I do have, oh, you know, a lot of them in here, so I want to make sure it's clean. And then um, some of my bigger chickens, I'm going to be getting our portable coop and electric fence out so they can start being outside and getting in the hang of what's going on. This little duck. Um, goose, I didn't do any. So... You can tell the food's back in. Everybody, I just left the door open and they all came in on their own. Needed to eat, they were hungry. Look at them, they're so cute. Beep, 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 beep. So I got two feeders in here and we fill them when they're empty so they always have food. I mean, the water does get uh, dirty so we do, um, gets messy easy. Even though we don't have any ducks, ducks are really messy, but having this many, oh my gosh, you can hear their little feet paddling on there. I'm so excited about having geese here. Yeah, you. Look at that. 
<laughs> They're super soft too. So all the little birds are nice and clean. I cleaned out the big coop earlier this week and put all the compost away and then I put some compost on my future vegetable beds. So all is well and I will be able to use all their stuff as compost too. So we try to do a lot of composting of you know all the bird waste here. I still gotta name these three geese. Hmm. Anybody have any good names? Cause they all need names, huh? Yeah, you talking. I love how they talk to each other too. They're so cute. <laughs> so these are the white. Oh my god, that's the boy on the floor, and that's one of the girls up there. And this is the other girl over here. Oh, there's my finger. Girl, boy. So I got a boy and two girls. But. Um, I want to try to handle them a lot so they're happy little guys and don't mind seeing me. Hi! He said, I don't like you, lady. So everybody's happy. They're all getting fed. We got a clean pen. And we are going to be trying to get our mini coop cleaned out for the season. And so these bigger chickens can actually go in. They're, a little, they're over a month older than the other ones. So I got... Um like four of them at Tractor Supply before everybody else showed up. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at him. You are so sweet. Oh, come here. Hello everybody. So, if I turn the light. Oh, it's a fan. There we are, you can see me. So, I'm in the puppy's room. These little puppies are, she's pushing me with her butt. Yes, mama. So these little puppies are three weeks old today. Here, they're they're doing really good. So they're because they're three weeks old. We start potty training. Lucy's going to the potty now. They all are because they just woke up. So we start potty training at three weeks old. So when they go home, they're pretty much trained to go potty. Um, and wood shavings. So if you just take wood shavings and put them somewhere in your yard, they'll go. That's what we tell the new owners. And it usually they. Um, it works pretty good. So they are using their potty area. I had to put, let's take a look because they're having so much noise. So they, there's mama. She's got a toy in her mouth. Can be bothered with the kids. So this is the wood shavings. It normally is more combined over there, but as you can see, they run through it. Um, they're getting used to it, but they are using it to go potty. So a lot of them will just get up. Lucy's very good at it. Um, so they'll get up, they'll toddle over there, and then they'll toddle back to their blankets. I started putting toys in. So they know mom's here, so they're having a fit because their mommy's not sitting down for them. So they'll follow her, and what she'll do is she'll make sure they follow her, and then when they're over there, she'll come over and sit. She's got it. She's got these kids fooled. But they did just eat not too long ago. Um, <laughs> she's doing really good about um, feeding them. Yes, you got your toy. You're so silly, Nala. It's funny because she's never been attached to toys, but since she's had her puppy, she's been attached to that particular toy. So she keeps it in her mouth. She's, and she can come out. So she was spending a lot of time on her cot, so I took my cot out and put her cot in here, her bed in here. So, um, <laughs> you know, I have to use my cot for other um, litters. Not that she was destructive, because she wasn't, she's really good. But some of them will get scratching and, uh, and go crazy. Um, so I'm hoping, because I'd find her in here sleeping on my cot the whole time and not in little puppies as much. So, um, oh my goodness, babies. Hi, I know your mommy just fed you not too long ago. But you act like you haven't eaten forever. Yeah. Oh, I feel little teeth on Zoe. I did already look for teeth. Some of them do. Oops, some of them don't. They're all like on me. So they do still have pee pee accidents. So I'll just come in and change out the top. So their mommy doesn't can sit on something dry when she feeds her babies. Hi, Francesca. So Francesca seems to be the little terror of the bunch so far. Yep, that's of course the one we're keeping. 
Hi, Raven. Raven is super sweet. She's a good, look at her, she's so cute. I know, mommy's getting a drink and you guys are thirsty. You thirsty puppies. But they're walking really good. They're all be bopping around the place and I have supplemented with a bottle just because I'm so used to such big puppies. From Ellie, I would just, trying to help mama out. She does feed them and there's only seven, but a little extra nutrients wouldn't hurt. So that's what I do. I've been um, giving them a bottle. So they must realize that this lady sometimes has a bottle and I wonder if she's got one this time. <laughs> but we had to put another slat on because they would get out and follow their mother. Um, I think they're already for the next slat to go on so they can't get out. But Because um, normally we don't use that side, we use just this side. But when Nala didn't like to um, jump over that, we opened that, this side up for her. Goodness, you're awful loud. Your mommy couldn't even get a drink? Nope. That's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. Hi, Rocky. Rocky, Rocky. So this is Rocky. Isn't he sweet? Of course, my camera's moving because I have them all on me. Whoops. This Colbit. He's very pretty. Oh, he's just trying to think I got something for him so he won't hold still. Little baby. Oh, there's your mommy with her toy. Yeah, you're gonna sit down? I'm sitting with your babies. Oh, she said, I guess I'll put this out. You're gonna sit down with your babies? It's just, I don't know what it is. A piece of fuzz or something, Nala. I don't think you need it, whatever it is. Oh, it's a wood chip. Well, jeez, mama. Tell the mama, come sit with us. She said, goodness. <laughs> so at this point they can they can smell her, you know, so or if I come in the room, I don't even have to say anything, they'll start to rustle and one of them will see, wake up and see me and that's it. Then it's over. Huh, sludge. Huh, sludge. It's little Lucy, she's very good at she's very potty trained. She looks the most like her mummy, Nala. Francesca looks the most like her dad. Rocky. Well, he's a kickoff from back generation. So look at, yeah, that's Raven already putting her head over the edge. You got some crazy kids. Relaxing on her couch. She had dinner. Um, so she'll stay down here till it's bedtime. Oh, hi. This is what it's like when you're living with a Dane. You just jumped up to give me a kiss. Yes, I love you too. Oh, she's full of herself. She weighs a ton too. So Eva was down here. She's getting a little fussy. So Ellie, whatever you lick me with, you got it on my teeth like a little rock. So she was getting a little finicky. Today was her last day for her pain meds, Miss Eva. So I noticed she was getting a little finicky. So I decided to, I'll have to cook this up for dinner. So we had Chinese sausage with rice. And you know, that was up to her standard. She ate and she had to have a hoodie cup so i just want to make sure that she's still eating she is still recovering from her c-section so she still does sleep with with me my husband and um we're still you know making sure she's doing good even though you know it's been a few days almost a week but she's still healing what frank what's up what's up buddy you already ate dinner too chubby <laughs> And then Fiona's in the back. So the kennels, we have other kennels in that room too. Um, that's even Ellie's if they want it. So everybody has a place to go if they want it. So if Ella, sometimes I'll see Ellie sleeping in there where Fiona is. And um, it's also the wood stoves in this room. So that's another reason why they like this room. Especially Ellie, she loves the warmth. Relaxing in there. Yeah, hoping to find something good to eat. Everybody ate their dinner though. Sorry, Chubby. The day is winding down. 